Hey guys, this is Jonathan with Louisiana School of Bushcraft. This next segment we're going to do is the actual uh, building of uh, building of a coal through friction fire using the fire flute that we developed here. Uh, you can see the camera's moving down now. It's going to show you a view of all the parts together. We're going to use palmetto underneath to catch our coal. Right here, you can see I've already used this one twice. So uh, all I'm going to do is flip to the other side. That way you, you've got a good clean view of it here. And essentially what, what you're doing is we're going to be drilling right in between these two right here. So give me a moment. Let me get set up, and I'm, I'm going to go into the back. Uh, real quick, one reason I like to take off my shoe, first of all, when you got your shoe in the way, that, that little extra space on top of your foot, you might not realize it, but your shoe will get in the way. Another reason is when I've got my bare foot on it, it helps give me control of that fireboard and I can move it back and forth as I need to. Uh, first things first, the, the hardest part most people can't, can't seem to grasp with this is cutting the notch that we actually have to cut right here. The notch that we cut here is not the same as a traditional fireboard. All you've got to do is cut a notch that's going to keep this from sliding back and forth. So what I do is right here on this inside top corner on both sides is I just cut a small notch just enough to keep the uh, just to keep the spindle from sliding back and forth. It's for nothing else. As you progress with this and you become more accustomed to working with this style, you don't even have to cut it. You can just simply spin your spin your spindle a couple of times as you put pressing down, and it's going to wedge it in there. But for beginners, I recommend you cut that notch out to learn this, how to do it properly. All right, when you're doing this, you can use spindles that are smaller. You can use fireboards that are smaller. Just make sure that your fireboard is wider, probably by an eighth or a quarter of an inch on each side of your spindle. That will give you enough room to make sure that you don't drill and it don't break apart on you while you're doing it. Secondly, uh, the gap that's in the middle, you want it to be a quarter of an inch no less than an eighth of an inch, otherwise you won't build up enough sawdust in there. Alright guys, I wanted to bring the notch in a little closer for you to see right here. You can just see I've cut on this inside top corner. That's uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Just right there on the inside, uh, there's nothing to it. Just a couple of quick little notches. You can actually maybe be able to see right there where I just pressed in. You know, As you become uh, more proficient using this, you might be able to do it just like that where you just grind that spindle into it a little bit and just wear it down instead of trying to cut the notches.